Hi students, welcome back. Today we will be studying about free, damped and forced vibrations. Then we will see a special case of forced vibration that is resonance. This is a continuation video of the chapter sound. So let's start. Types of vibration or oscillations. Sound is produced when a body vibrates. That means they move back and forth. So they vibrate, shake and oscillate. Even atoms move back and forth from their mean positions. So vibrations are an inseparable part of nature. In this tutorial, we will study about vibration types and its relationship to waves. As we have studied that sound waves are mechanical or elastic waves, they regain to their original position. So that is the property of elasticity. They come back to their original or mean position. So that there are three types of vibrations or sound vibrations. One is free or natural vibration. Then second one damped vibration. Third one forced vibration. Then what is free or natural vibration? The periodic vibration of a body of constant amplitude in the absence of any external force on it are called free vibrations. The free vibration are simple harmonic vibration under restoring force. The amplitude and frequency remains constant. So once a body starts vibrating, it continues its vibration with the same amplitude and frequency forever as the example shows it continues vibration forever but this is a just a theoretical idea because in real systems the energy is dissipated to the surrounding over time and the amplitude decreases to zero this dissipation of energy is called damping so now examples of free or natural vibrations Let's see this first one. If a bob of simple pendulum is displaced slightly from its mean position, it starts vibrating with its natural frequency. The natural frequency depends on the length L of the pendulum. So the length of the pendulum determines the frequency. Why? Because G is constant and we know acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square and 2 pi is also constant. So frequency depends upon the length and it's inversely proportional. So if the length is shortened, it will have another natural frequency. The natural frequency depends upon the length of L of the pendulum and so different pendulums will vibrate with different natural frequency depending on their length. Then the second one. If a load is suspended from a spring when stretched and then released, starts vibrating with its natural frequency. And in this case, natural frequency is 1 by t. We all know that frequency is 1 by t. Here, f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over m by k, where m is the mass and k is a constant. Frequency depends upon the mass of the object suspended here. Then when a tuning fork is struck against a hard rubber pad, it vibrates with its natural frequency. This sound is of single frequency that it is known as pure note. Similarly, when we strike the keys of a piano, various strings are set in vibration at their natural frequency. When an air column in a flute or an organ pipe is made to vibrate, it vibrates with its natural frequency which is inversely proportional to the length of the air column. In a flute, notes of different frequency are produced by changing the effective length of the air column when different holes in it are closed. So how we can change the length of the air column? by changing or by closing the holes in the flute. When a string in the instruments like sitar, guitar, violin etc. is plucked, the transverse vibration of a definite natural frequency are produced in the string. 
the, uh, how the frequency is related frequency is equal to 1 by 2L root over of T pi R square D here T is the tension in the string L is the length of the string and D here is the density of the string and R is the radius of the string density of the string we cannot change so if a string is suspended a density cannot be changed so what we can change the tension in the string can be changed length can be increased or decreased and radius can also be increased or decreased so frequency will increase when length will decrease radius will decrease when and when tension is more then frequency is more so now let's see this example a string of given length stretched between its end under a given tension can be made to vibrate in different modes by plucking the string at different points how it is possible let's say if the string is plucked in the middle the string vibrates in one loop this vibration is called principal note of frequency f now if the string is plucked at one fourth length of the string from the end it vibrates with two loops this vibration is called first subsidiary vibration of frequency 2f then if the string is plucked at one sixth length of the string from one end it vibrates in three loops this is called second subsidiary with frequency 3f so we know that whenever a body vibrates it vibrates with a natural frequency then damped vibration the periodic vibration of a body of decreasing amplitude in the presence of a resistive force are called damped vibration earlier we had studied free or natural vibration but that was just a theoretical case damped vibration is all around us because everything if, even if a pendulum starts vibrating for some seconds then ultimately it comes to stop due to the frictional forces of the air so the amplitude of motion decreases due to frictional which the surrounding medium exerts on the body vibrating in it so first the amplitude was high and then it starts decreasing and with time the frictional force at any instant is proportional to the velocity of the vibrating body and it tends to resist the motion as a result the vibrating body continuously loses energy in doing work against the force of friction so amplitude decreases with time when a slim branch of tree is pulled and then released it makes a damp vibration once it released then it's finished let's summarize the difference between free and damp vibration first the amplitude remains constant here amplitude decreases there is no loss of energy here there is a loss of energy no external force acts on its body here the frictional or damping force opposes the motion the frequency is equal to the natural frequency and remains constant the frequency is always less than the natural frequency now the third case of vibration is forced vibration the vibration of body which takes place under the influence of an external periodic force acting on it uh, is called forced vibration when a person applies force to the string and the string vibrates then it's forced vibration when a stem of vibrating tuning fork is pressed against the top of a table tuning fork forces the table top to vibrate with its own frequency the vibration produced in the table top are forced vibration then similarly the vibration produced in the diaphragm of a microphone sound box is with frequencies corresponding to the speech of the speaker is a forced vibration wherever you apply force and then cause vibrations that is forced vibrations so what is resonance resonance is a special case of forced vibration the word resonance comes from a latin and it means to resound to sound out together with a loud sound in physics resonance is the tendency of a system to vibrate with an increased amplitude so resonance is a special case of force vibration 
when the frequency of the externally applied periodic force on a body is equal to its natural frequency the body readily begins to vibrate with an increased amplitude this phenomenon is called resonance the vibrations of large amplitude are called resonant vibrators resonance occurs only when the frequency of the applied force is exactly equal to the natural frequency of the body let's see this example if two identical tuning fork a and b of same frequency are placed upon separate sound boxes such that their open ends face each other and if one prong of the tuning fork is struck we can see that the other one starts vibrating and with a loud sound is heard so this is how resonance works there are many real life examples of resonance i have taken few of them to make you explain it let's see this bridge when a troop crosses a suspension bridge the soldiers are asked to break their steps the reason is that when the soldier marches in steps each soldier exerts a periodic force in same phase and so if the natural frequency of the steps matches with the periodic frequency of the bridge then the bridge will vibrate with in a large amplitude due to resonance and the suspension bridge may collapse similarly if two pendulums of same length are suspended from a rubber string and one pendulum is made to vibrate the other pendulum also starts vibrating with a large amplitude and in same phase because of resonance if when frequency of the air column becomes equal to the frequency of the tuning fork as in the third diagram vibrating over its mouth a loud sound is heard due to resonance when we want to listen a clear music or a video through a radio or a tv we adjust the values of electronic components to produce vibration a frequency equal to the radio waves which we want to hear when the two frequencies match a resonance is produced so a loud clear music can be heard similarly when a vehicle is driven at a particular speed the frequency of certain parts of vehicle matches with the frequency of piston piston always keeps on vibrating so at this point when that particular part starts vibrating vigorously due to resonance a rattling sound is heard so these are all the real life examples of resonance now let's see the difference between forced and resonant vibrators in forced vibrators the vibrations of a body under an external periodic force of frequency different than the natural frequency here frequency is equal to the natural frequency amplitude is usually small in resonant vibrators the amplitude of vibrations is very large the vibration of the body are not in phase here always in phase then these vibration last for a very small time after the periodic force has ceased to act here these vibration last for a long time after the periodic force has ceased to act so these are all about damp vibration forced vibration and natural vibrations so thank you for watching this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and if you like my video give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for latest updates